Hello, single viewer. Welcome back to what is hopefully a lot smoother episode than we got last time. Uh, my technical issues aren't fixed, air quotes, but they're better. I did a couple of things within my technical ability, um, limited technical abilities to try to make it work better. So, we will see. It seems to be a lot smoother recording. As I say that, I go skidding off. You can hear a ding-dong in the background possibly driving out my window, so apologies for that. I'm sure he'd be very, very sorry if he knew what, what was going on. Uh, anyway, we are, in case you haven't noticed, I am lighting something up. Um, I'll give you 50,000 francs if you can tell me where I am right now. Do you need a minute? Any guess? Any at all? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? Fine, I'll tell you. We are in the da, 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 reactor for the Star Destroyer. As you can see, it is done. Keys are sticking again. Oh, well. I thought it was fixed. Apparently not. Anyway, yes, I built a sphere. Uh, that's a fun word to say, isn't it? Sphere. Uh, big ball, this is where the reactor is, stuff goes in, explosions happen, and then it kind of goes into here, and the explosion gets turned into power for the engines, and hyperdrive, and guns, and shields, and lights, and heat on the ship, that sort of thing. Uh, if you like, I know some people have asked before how, how I do spheres, uh, Particularly when I was building, people wanted to know just kind of how I do good spheres. Uh, if that was something that I could kind of go through. And it didn't occur to me to do it this time around until it was built. Uh, I was actually building this and testing to see how everything would work and if it would work out well enough for recording. So, sadly, I didn't think to actually record me building it, but if anybody wants a sort of breakdown on how to do spheres and circles in Minecraft, uh, let me know. That is something I can do. Uh, if, if there's interest or desire. Anyway, uh, I built that. Yes, so that is built. Mouse is still a little bit wonky, but oh well. The other thing I did is I built this, which is the hyperdrive for the ship. And like the sphere of the reactor, it's just a giant open space. Uh, that is the good thing about Star Wars ships, is they have a lot of just void. That all you have to do to get a really, really cool looking ship is a lot of shapes and then fill in so that's what I've done that's what I'm doing I think today this has been a very long intro I apologize I tend to do long intros anyway uh, I think today what I want to do what I wanted to do last episode but I'm gonna do this episode is work on the engine room so probably what's going to happen is I'm going to box all of this in and just kind of make a big open space that will house the reactor and the thrusters and all of that stuff uh, there will probably be some fuel tanks in here 
just kind of on here going down will be fuel tanks that I'll build. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the plan for today. And then I'll, I'll work on adding some interior stuff and hopefully have the engine room or engineering spaces uh, done today. That's what I want to work on ultimately. So I'm going to fill in this sort of power converter thing, I'm going to call it. Uh, just kind of get that done. And then I will come back and start work on the box of the engine room. So, yes. See you in a bit. You know what this shape reminds me of? I have this done, but you know what it, what it reminds me of? Turkey baster. You know, you kind of suck in the butter and then kind of squirt it out. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of. I'm hungry now. Uh, it's done, by the way. I mean, it's totally done. It It is ready for basting. And my keys are still stuck. <sighs> does look kind of cool inside, though. Also, when you do this, it looks kind of nice. Anyway. Uh, this is how it looks on the inside, the interior. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hopefully you can't hear that. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, so this is how it looks at the moment. On the inside. And this is how it will look. Well, I'll change the exterior. I'm not terribly concerned about the inside, honestly, just so long as this thing works and looks good on the outside, I am happy. But the inside, honestly, not too worried about at the end of the day. Anyway, I did add these little nether, uh, netherite brick, or netherite accents to make it look a little bit distinct so that's the first little bit of external detail uh, I think the next step is going to be the uh, wall so I think this I want to have look something like this I think it's going to be fairly big, fairly bulky, beefy, have quite a lot going on. Uh, if you remember, dear viewer, this is, this blue is the turbo lift system for the ship. So actually, you know what, I'm going to bring that back to here, yeah. Um, yes. Okay, so that's the upper limit of this big, big box. Keys not working, there we go, thank you. Uh, not sure what to do about that. I mean, I've tried what I could within my limits, and it's still sticking, and I'm still flying off in random directions. The other thing I have noticed, so I don't know if any of you watch uh, Hermitcraft, but you know Season 8 is getting earthquakes now. Doesn't this look kind of like the earthquakes in that? This is just the mouse holding stable. Sometimes it does that. Anyway, that has caused me no end of frustration. Berg. Anyway, key sticking, don't like it at all, it's annoying. So, I think this will go all the way back, pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, that'll go all the way back. And then, I think that this box will extend... Do, 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 do. 
again, this is the engine room. So, it will extend all the way to here. And then it'll go up. And that way there's a decent amount of all of the technical parts of the ship covered and in one area where you can access it easily. I did look up engine rooms, Star Star Wars engine rooms. Not a lot came up. The only things that came up were some shots from Clone Wars, uh, engine rooms of things like Venator class Star Destroyers, and it's basically just a giant open room with a little thing coming down from the ceiling. It's not very interesting, so I decided not to do not to do that, just because I thought that was boring, and I, I wanted to be unique and do something I thought would look cool. So, because that's ultimately what matters with builds like this, is that you like them and you think they are cool and interesting and they they hold your attention. So, I think that almost counts as a build hack, doesn't it? Anyway, let me fill this up. I'll be back. Well, the bottom part is done. Dun dun dun. Uh, I added this little dip here so that you can still access the whole front of this thruster array. And I'll add some more access ports as we go along. Kind of decorate it, make it look... Well, not make it look pretty, necessarily, but make it look interesting, at least. Uh, this took a little while, as you may imagine. Not too bad, though. I've been listening or watching a couple of different things, so keep myself occupied as I make this. But you can kind of see how big this room is going to be if you look at it from below. Uh, you can see the outline. Weirdly, it looks like you can still see a little bit of the engine out here, or the uh, the turkey baster, as I'm now calling it. Um, but yeah, progress is being made. It's being made at a reasonable pace, I suppose. Uh, yeah... This will probably be quite a bit more work, but, you know, something to do. And if you, oh single viewer, enjoy it, I will probably keep filming it. Well, that was about an hour of work. I know that it, it's looking increasingly just like a lot, a lot, a lot of stone shapes. Uh, I mean, it looks kind of cool, but it does just look like... An endless series of stone forms. It, it won't look like that forever, as I've said before, but that's what it looks like now. Uh, but this does give you a good impression of the engine room and where everything will sort of fit in. Uh, I want to make over here, <clears throat> excuse me, into a sort of. I guess you would say a, a sort of engine control room, almost, that'll kind of have windows looking down and out to sort of monitor the situation, and then probably a gantry way uh, so that you can walk around in here. And then there will be ladders and lifts and catwalks going around through here so that you have access. There will probably be a big walkway ringing the engine that goes and connects to all these. Uh, I'm going to leave this top, this roof, off for the moment. Uh, just because it's a little bit easier that way. Just so that I have light and I, I can worry about, you know, lighting up this huge space a little bit later. But, I think the next step is to get the 
purple gone to make the power sort of feed lines as they go on. So I've been thinking about how to do this, and what I have decided is that I will probably use something like this. So it will probably be, uh, as you can see, the keys are still sticking a little bit. It'll probably be something like this. So just uh, just like this, nothing too fancy. And then every six blocks, like let's say three, four, five, six, just do something like that. And then to connect it to the wall, because we have to do that, I'll probably use... Do, do, do. I like this color, yes. Probably something like this. Just, just connecting slowly to the... I hate these keys. Connecting to the wall, like that, to sort of show it off. I hope this the camera isn't terribly jerky right now. Uh, yeah, and then I'll probably have a, a gangway, gentry way to walk. Over here, I plan to make the entire area, thank you keys, um, you should be able to walk all around through here, so there should be a 3x3 three three area, if not a perfect 3x3, three three, then 2x2 two two in some places, but basically you'll be able to walk along the power lines in the ship to check on stuff, see if it's broke, that sort of thing. Uh, and this will add a little bit of color to this otherwise very, very bland area, hopefully anyway it will. Uh, so I think, I think, I think I will do that, and then I will get back to you once I have this sort of done. Yeah, I, I'll probably not finish the engine room completely today, but, I mean, we've made a lot of progress. It certainly looks different. It's been a few days since my last recording. Um... It's been kind of crazy weather here. There was a possibility of a tornado. In case you can't tell, I'm vigorously American, I think, as far as I know. And so we do get tornadoes here, and there was a potential possibility of a tornado. Didn't happen, but, you know, there was like a whole day of... Will there be a tornado? Won't there be a tornado? So, that was a waste of time. Uh, the other thing <laughs> is then, it's been a couple of days of fairly intense rain here. And because I record in an attic with a couple of centimeters, three inches of space between my head and the outside world, uh, when it rains, it gets quite loud in here, and all you can hear is the rain. Other than that, it's it's fairly well insulated, but, you know. So, what have I done in the intervening several days? Well, this. So in the last clip, I'm, I'm just going by memory here, but I think... I was working over here, I, I think, and I was sort of filling these out. Yeah, I still have sticky keys, my, um, my new, I'm not in control right now. My new, uh, mouse has not yet arrived, and my key situation is still weird. So, yes. But anyway, I think... It only happens when I'm recording, too. I don't know what's up. 
but I think I was working on this and as you can see it is done these are the things that feed off of the reactor by the way so there's the turkey baster here which has also been sort of decorated I've added like structural support that holds it to the actual ship uh, added that in I think that looks kind of cool actually I really like that and then I added in these that sort of jut down. I've added some supports for them. It looks kind of cool. I also filled in the rest of this area. And it looks kind of neat. I, I really like this. There's um, sort of access ports that go out. Um, I'm going to have to build the sort of power feed areas going through the hull. They're going to be little 3x3 three three passageways so you can access the power feed lines going throughout the entire ship. Uh, I won't do that until a little bit later though. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with my progress. I think it's coming together. I think this is looking really, really cool. Uh, I would have preferred to do a little bit more, possibly. Yeah. It's still looking really, really gray. It is looking, like, aggressively gray right now. But, you know, it's, it's looking nice. I know that this is probably just rambling. This is me trying to sum up what I did, say why it's been delayed video-wise, that sort of stuff, and doing it badly but you know uh it's it's coming together definitely i'm happy with my progress wish i would have done more uh i think the next episode i'll probably try to finish up in here get some stuff done in here mostly just doing things like adding catwalks around like in here so that you can access the end the uh power lines i mean uh, get around the reactor, uh, the turbo lifts here, probably not in control. Uh, add a sort of back here. I want to add a sort of engineering main engineering control room. I think so, like where the main engineer would be, and he could monitor everything that's going on and have a really nice view. I think I'll add that in. Uh, then I'll probably add some, like, droid storage down down here, probably. Uh, add in some sort of bits of tech down here. I want to add fuel lines as well. Uh, that was something I meant to do but didn't wind up having time for. Is a fuel line system. So probably coming from here and here, I'll have a fuel line going into the reactor to connect to the fuel tanks that will be located here on the sides and down here as well so back here will be mostly dedicated to fuel i'll also have some more fuel up there's going to be i don't know if you can see it there's going to be up here a secondary reactor as well so i think i'm going to do that add that in make that look kind of neat so that'll be next episode anyway i hope you enjoyed what's probably a fairly long episode uh if you did be sure to give it a like oh dear single lone viewer and have a nice day